That's the beautiful thing about troubles. When troubles come to the face of the earth, troubles always call for innovation and re-innovation. When the Israelites were in Egypt and the Egyptians began to torture them, you know what happened? God began to defend them and when they gave birth, the Bible says the Pharaoh gave instructions that their children, if their boys were to be killed or actually were to be thrown into the Nile, to be eaten by crocodiles. And the Bible says that the midwives who were Hebrew women came up with an innovative idea and they allowed the Hebrew women to give birth. And when they were asked why they never killed those children, they said, oh, the Hebrew women are not like the Egyptian women. They are so strong and powerful. Before we arrived, they've already given birth. And the Bible says God gave them houses, soft skills. <laughs> God gave them houses. God promoted them right there within Egypt because of coming up with new ways of dealing with problems. When problems come knocking at your door, God is telling you this is time to innovate and to re-innovate. This is a time to invent and reinvent. Problems are good places to invest. Invest in your problems. Begin by investing in the solution to those problems. And once you've solved your own problems, you'll find that other people will be coming to you seeking the same solutions. And you'll solve your problems and other people's problems. And when you solve other people's problems, and then you replicate that over and over again, that's what we call entrepreneurship. Really looking for some problem to solve and then solving it in a way that is replicable and in a way that can be scaled up. That is what entrepreneurship is. So there are certain entrepreneurs that will do big, big things, multi-billion dollar businesses. But there are certain entrepreneurs that will only do business worth thousands of dollars or even hundreds of dollars. The most important thing is that you are doing something that is helping humanity and that's solving problems. That's the most important thing. Okay? You don't have to measure up with anyone because people have different graces. God has given people very different graces. There are people given graces for continents. There are people who have been given intercontinental graces. There are those who have been given graces only for a few people. The most important thing is, can you focus on that which God has given you and do it well? Your fulfillment is based on that. So I want to teach you how you can use your soft skills to make money, especially during this season when a lot of people think things are hard. Things are really not hard. This is an opportunity for you to invent something. You know, I was studying the story of Wrigley, the gentleman who came up with the chewing gum called Wrigley. And the, the gentleman marketed heavily during a time when the economy, the, the United States economy was on a crunch. When people were pulling back, you know, hoarding things and not using money, that's when he got into serious marketing. And when he was asked why, he said, oh, during hard times, people look for something to chew. <laughs> and you believe that. And he sold Wrigley's chew gum, especially spearmint. He sold that thing until now. It's all over the world. I tell you, if you walk on the streets of Nairobi, go to any small kiosk, you'll find a Wrigley. It's always, it's everywhere, you know, because a gentleman decided to boost sales during hard times when people didn't have money. You could have imagined somebody thinking that if people don't have money, then a luxury that does, doesn't have even nutritional value, like chew gum, shouldn't be a priority. But this guy made millions of US dollars by selling chewing gum during a time when people didn't have money. So there is an opportunity for you, ladies and gentlemen, during this lockdown and during what they call pandemic, yeah, um, they call it like that. But for us, we just see opportunities to make things work. This is the time for you to start using your soft skill so that your soft skills can boost or lift up your hard skills. So if you're a great accountant, for you to beat the market of accountants, for you to emerge tops, develop soft skills. 